Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the brand new EcoFlow River 2 Pro. This is a portable power station with 800 watts AC output. It has 768 watt hour of capacity, 70 minutes to fully charge this device right here. So if you're looking for something with 800 watts, fast charging, this is it for you right here. You know we did the, the River 2, now we have the Pro version. Let's open this thing, let's get it out of the box. Let's see what comes inside. All right, guys, let's get this thing open. Let's get this thing open. There it is. We got your manual. Perfectly packed. Pull these out. Let's take this out. Get the box out of the way. I'll show you what's in here in a minute. Battle chargers. This is so your car charger, so you can plug this in the cigarette light in your car and charge it off of that. And your AC charger. All right, so let's hit that power button. You have USB-A, one, two, three of them. USB-C, the 100 watt guys, I love that. They have a 100 watt USB-C, so you can charge those MacBooks and all those other power hungry devices with USB. Bright display. We're sitting right at 29%. So I can put this on the charger and I should be up and running within what, 40, 50 minutes because it's at almost 30% already. Cigarette plug. They actually put the cover on this one. Thank you. So it's not just open. Love that. The battle ports I showed you. This is the, the power, so you could turn on this DC loads. 420 volt. Let's turn it around. Right here, you can see the, uh, that's where you get your hot air coming out. This is the fan, so it would suck the cold air in here and blow it out so you keep it cool. Over here you have your inlet. It goes from 11 to 50 volt DC, 13 amp max, solar and DC charging. Perfect. You just plug right into it, no brick. I hate seeing a power station that still uses brick. Built in, especially this one has the UPS mode. So that way you could plug it in. When the power goes off, it automatically switches over. Perfect for that. All right guys, so I'm gonna plug this in to the AC using its uh, AC plug. Just gonna spin this around and we're gonna plug it in right here. Just plug it in. plugged in it says right now 49 minutes from 30 percent to 100 let's see if that works out exactly the same so i put a timer on it let's see if it takes 49 minutes all right guys so i got the ecoflow river 2 charging and i'm going to take this time to hook it up to the uh, app it discovered the device ecoflow river 2 pro add All right, your device is connected. There you go. So you can come right here and now you can do all the settings for your River 2 Pro. AC, solar. So you can come right here and you can actually control your charging speed. So if I wanted to charge slower, I could just turn this down all the way to 100 watts AC charge. So you do have control on your um, charging speed. Your car input, eight amps. You can go four amps, six amps, or eight amps. DC, auto, 
Oh, right here you can charge it to go from automatic solar or car charger. It will automatically fix it based on the uh, cable it uses, the sensor. You could set your discharge level. This one's set to go all the way down to zero and never make my, my unit go all the way. I'll go to 10%. And that's as low as I'll go. I'll charge up to 100%. Timeout, never. If you have this on um, like a refrigerator, you do not want it to time out. If you, let's say you're doing something like camping and you want it to shut off after a certain time, you can do that. You can actually do a screen timeout. You can do never. Let's set my screen to 30 minutes. So the screen will actually time out in 30 minutes. Your AC timeout, six hours. You could do a firmware update. Let's see if we have a firmware update. Up to date. Maximum solar, 220 watts. I do have a uh, solar. And we will try it. Today is very cloudy, so I'm not going to be able to try it today, but we can try it on solar. Great specs. All right, guys, I'm going to let it charge. Once we charge, I'll come back and we'll do some load testing. All right, guys, we're fully charged. It did take 40 minutes to get it from 29% to 100%. So that was right where the uh, monitor said it was going to do. So it took exactly 40 minutes, exactly what it said. It's pretty fast. Can't believe it. So we're at 100%. I got the oscilloscope hooked up to it, guys. You can see that we do have a pure sine wave coming from the River 2 Pro. Pure sine wave coming out of it. Now we're going to do some load testing on it. got a heater all right guys so now we're gonna do some load testing I'm gonna be using a 1500 watt heater the variac so I can control the load that the AC outputs okay so right now it's connected to uh, my outlet so I'm gonna turn it on let's get some power there you go Let's get right around 500 watts coming out and that's going to be coming off the wall socket so let's just say you you have uh, your fridge connected to it it's pulling right around 500 watts it's connected to this and the power supply is connected to the wall so i'm going to disconnect the power supply now and there you go now it's coming from the batteries so you see this right here input it went to zero so I'm gonna connect it back let's see what happens now it's pulling 500 watts from the grid it's putting out 500 watts so it's bypassing the battery the battery is gonna recharge so this is very important very important UPS mode is very important I think they called it uh, what did they call it on this one emergency power supply EPS most of us know it as UPS uninterrupted power supply all right so input 500 from the grid and output 500 once you disconnect it uninterrupted it just keeps powering now you see our power supply will be going down so we have two hours pulling 500 watts now that I proved to you that UPS does work, let's see if it will hold 800 watts. Okay, so now we're pulling 500. I'm going to go up to 800. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're maintaining 800. Let's put a timer out here so you guys can see. So we're pulling 800 watts. Now let's go past 800. That's it. The max will let me pull. 840, 855. Oh, it's still going up. 900. 
It says 37 minutes. Look at that. 800 watts. And it's it's rated for 800 and I'm pulling 935. Now I'm going to switch it to, uh, we're going to shut it off. Let me go to the app. There you go. So it did that for one minute and it shut itself off, overloaded. Awesome. So once you overload, you just push that, reset. Turn X boost off. Let's try that again. Let's go back to 800. There you go. Now it overloaded. So, so when I had uh, the X boost on, it held it for a long time. I turned the X boost off. It was like 10 seconds off. So X boost does help. But I'll tell you guys, I will only use X boost on when I'm using like a heater or anything that with that resistive load. Anything like your cell phone, laptop, refrigerator, keep X boost off and you'll get a cleaner power. All right, guys, so there you have it. EcoFlow River 2 Pro. The thing puts out its power real clean. I'm gonna hook up the solar panel once it gets a little sunny outside and we'll see what we can get using the EcoFlow solar panels. All right, stay tuned for that. Okay, guys, I don't have a lot of sun, but I'm just gonna demonstrate that you can use the EcoFlow this is the EcoFlow solar, foldable solar panels, 220 watts. I'm gonna hook it up to this and see what we can get on this day. It's, very, it's not sunny at all. So this is the part that's coming off the uh, solar panels. I'm gonna come over here and plug it in. Just plugged it in right here. Okay, so you can see right there, <laughs> I'm getting just 25 watts, but it is charging from the solar. See right there, I'm just getting 27 watt. Really overcast. I'm just gonna wait a little bit, see if this uh, sun shows its... Okay, it looks like it's pick up a little bit. Not much. All right guys, I wish we had a little more sun so I can show you, but you get the idea. You can't charge this thing from solar. 220 watt EcoFlow foldable solar panels. It's uh, really cloudy and you can see I'm only getting 21 watts from it, but that's okay because we know it works. Guys, EcoFlow River 2 Pro. What do I think about it? I think it's awesome. It puts out its power. It's, I, I love the, the package. Absolutely love the package. And you know how I like the single handle on the back. Most people say it's a little odd, but I'm telling you, once you carry it, it's perfect for carrying. All right, guys, as usual, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put the link in the description to this one. EcoFlow River 2 Pro. Check it out. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.